Effective, comprehensive public education is a fundamental building block of our democracy and a key to our continued prosperity and opportunity. As a product of public education, John Lynn Sanchez supports it 100% and believes the best place for most children to be educated is in their local neighborhood public school. We must make sure these schools are not threatened by ideologies and initiatives that seek to deprive schools of vital funding in order to promote expensive and ineffective private, charter, and religious education. Vouchers deplete resources from those schools and only provide enough subsidy to wealthier parents who are already sending their kids to expensive private and charter schools. We must invest in public education that meets the needs of all children, including students from low-income families, English language learners, recent immigrants, and students with disabilities. On standardized testing, many parents and teachers state that far too many resources are spent on state tests mandated by federal law. John Lynn Sanchez would like to see this policy reviewed to reduce the stress on students, teachers, parents, and schools. While we do need to be reassured schools are educating students, let's make sure we are not creating an undue burden in doing so. The main groups that benefit from exam-based assessments are corporate testing agencies, not the students. Companies that create state assessments, curriculum, and review materials for state assessment exams profit greatly from laws that make these tests mandatory. Excessive time is devoted to preparing students directly for the test, including benchmark testing and class time devoted to make sure students have sufficient test-taking skills. The overwhelming amount of testing has not resulted in dramatically improved test scores. Many students will do well on every test in grades 3 through 8 and high school. It is not necessary to measure what is going well. It would be better to reduce testing for students meeting state performance standards in reading and math and perhaps test them every three years or once in elementary, once in middle school, and once in high school. Keep the annual testing requirements requirement for those not meeting state benchmark. This would allow schools to focus more time on intervention with students who need it. They would be able to spend less time reviewing and preparing everyone across the board for the state test. In regards to teachers, John Lynn Sanchez credits her public school teachers in Ellis County for helping to go on to Rice University. Without these teachers who took time and initiative to help her on their own accord, she would never have been able to escape the cycle of poverty. Teachers are our greatest resources in education, but there is too little support for teacher training and development. Unfortunately, schools with lower performing students have trouble attracting qualified and experienced teachers. Turnover rates are also high. If a district has a school that is not meeting expectations, a common first step is to change the principal. These schools do not have stable leadership, and so quality teachers lead to find more stability. Instead of changing leadership in schools that need good leaders, we should support our teachers and administrators. John Lynn Sanchez believes in holding our teachers to high standards and giving them the tools they need to succeed. With our funding focused on training and retaining excellent teachers instead of teaching to the test, we can improve public education for all Texas children. John Lynn Sanchez supports the continuing funding of higher education in the U.S. through Title IV institutions and through Pell Grants and other federal aid, making it possible for students from low-income families to attend a university. John Lynn Sanchez would like to see more funding going into programs in community colleges that provide graduates with successful careers in technology, healthcare, and emerging fields such as renewable energy. For more in-depth details on how John Lynn Sanchez positions on education, please go to Sanchez for Congress 2018.com. That's Sanchez for Congress 2018.com. John Lynn Sanchez will fight for your child and grandchild and receiving top quality education so they will be successful. It's just another reason why you should consider John Lynn Sanchez as your congressional representative. She is fighting hard for working families. Vote John Lynn Sanchez for Congressional Representative District 6. Your voice will finally be heard.